life happens. NC211 can help. It's a free service connecting you to area social and health agencies. So people call us looking for help with their rent, uh, help with their mortgage. Um, mostly though, the number one reason is help with their utility bills. Laura Marks is president and CEO of United Way of North Carolina. Through its local chapters, it oversees NC211 statewide. The number two reason people call is for food. The other kinds of services, mental health and health care access in North Carolina is really important. Um, it's, it's difficult, it's expensive, um, so people need, you know, options. They need to understand what are the things that are available to them. Thank you for calling United Way 211. When you call, you get a real person who will explain the agencies in your area and what they can offer. Any time of the day or night, year round, including holidays. Gracias por llamar a Fondos Unidos 211. Mi nombre es Juan. ¿En qué puedo servirle? This is a multi-language service. There are Spanish-speaking agents and others who can translate for North Carolina residents speaking other languages. You can also go online to nc211.org or download the convenient app to plug into this free service. Simply identify your county, your need, and you'll get a list of social service agencies in your area. Other things you can learn about legal and child care services, disaster relief, as well as government programs like SNAP or CHIP. Now, Mark says NC211 is taking on several new initiatives, beginning with voter ID for the 2016 election year. How do they obtain identification or what identification is acceptable? And then what are the exceptions? And we can send them information, we can get them back to the Board of Elections, because we just know this is really important. Everybody, if they want to vote, they should be able to vote and there should be no barriers in the way. Additionally, call center agents are connecting the homeless to resources and for those entangled in human trafficking, linking them to avenues of escape. I guess I sort of suspected perhaps around military bases there might be some human trafficking events, but apparently the furniture industry also brings um, human trafficking kind of options. Mark says a broader benefit of NC211 is that it collects real-time data of what residents in a community actually need, so local officials can better advocate on their behalf. Catherine Mobley, WSTV Digital Media.